on the vlog again. Just can't wait to do a vlog again. The life I love is making vlogs for my friends. And I can't wait to do a vlog again. Doing a vlog again. Going places that I've never been. Seeing things that I may never see again. And I can't wait to do a vlog again. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Top Vloggers. As always, I am High and Mighty Joe hanging out with the lovely cat. My beautiful co-host. Today we are going to be making Christmas cookies. It should be fun. It should be exciting. I definitely love eating Christmas cookies. So let's get to making them. All right, this is the cookies that we're working with today. It looks like little stockings. So we're going to put these all on the cookie sheet right over here. And then we are going to show you Kat and I decorating them and then we're going to bake them in the oven and then we are going to try them out and let you know how good they taste or how bad they taste depending so let's get going well actually upon further reading we realize these cookies are already baked they don't need to be baked after we decorate them so now we're going to get to the decorating part these are our icing colors. We've got white, red, and green. Right there you'll see our sprinkles that we can put on. And over here is... Something falling to the floor is apparently what it is. <laughs> Sugar that's supposed to make it look like snow. Okay. So this should be a fun time. Well, let's get going. Now, you're gonna use the white first. Uh-huh. And what are you gonna do? I'm gonna do the top section white. Okay. Maybe. Okay, there you go. Putting a little icing on right there. You can take a knife and kind of smooth it around. cookie decorators for sure no that we are not <laughs> but we hope you guys enjoy this vlog this is something new that we uh, we've never done this before we've never made cookies like this before so uh, this is uh, the box ah, over here that uh, we got uh, 16 stocking cookies and uh, we just bought the whole box it's a little it's a box set so, I think it should be good. And then uh, we'll get back to Cat's cookie making over here. Or cookie designing, I guess you should, could say. But it is definitely going to take us a while to design all of these cookies. That is for sure. There is a plethora of cookies on this tray so yeah definitely gonna take some time to get all these cookies decorated I 
and we will definitely let you see uh, the finished product when we are done. As you can see, we are making progress. We went through and did all the parts that we wanted done in white, and now we're going to go through and do the red and the green parts and then finish with the sprinkles. I wanted to show you guys the beautiful wreath that a uh, cat hung up on the door. It's definitely getting me into the holiday spirit. Well, here you can see we've got our cookies all decorated. I will let you guys know that if you're wanting to use a lot of red or green, buy an extra package because they don't give you enough. We did run out, luckily. We had some other icing here that I could fill in to finish the cookies off because they only give you one little tube of red and one little tube of green, and that's definitely not enough for the amount of cookies that they give you. And we are not, as you can tell, professional cookie decorators. Nor right. will we be going into that profession anytime soon. That is, that is true. Uh, Kat is going to go ahead and taste one of those cookies here in just a second. And uh, we're going to let you know which one, which one is she going to choose. Which one is she going to choose? Make your selection. Make your selection. Make it delicious for your belly. So you're gonna, oh, you're going to pick that one. Going to pick the one. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. So... Not bad. It tastes like a harder version of a vanilla wafer, the cookie itself. But it tastes really good with the icing. And the sprinkles, or what we thought were sprinkles, are actually little bitty candy pieces, as you can see here on the cookie. We've got some. Those are just little candy pieces. It's actually not a sprinkle at all. They're just little candy pieces that are cut into... Got little snowflakes and... Gingerbread men and Christmas trees and candy canes. I noticed that there. I noticed that there was some candy canes on the. Like there's one right here on this one. This one's got three or four. One. Yeah. So some of them have candy canes. Some of them have snowflakes. They got gingerbread men and Christmas trees. And they got these little round circles. I'm assuming they're supposed to be like Christmas bulbs. And Christmas bulb and little round circles. Ah. Supposed to be like Christmas bulbs. Trying to knock one of them off onto the floor. But yeah, so if you uh, happen to, uh, and where did you get this, you said? Got it at the Walmart. At Walmart. Okay, so if you're at Walmart and you happen to see the 16 stocking cookies, uh, now you know uh, exactly what, they're, uh, what they taste like and uh, what you will need on your own to make them. The lovely cat and I would also like to take this time to say our condolences to Tiny Zeus Lister uh, Jr. Uh, who passed away, I believe Cat said he was 62, is that correct my dear? Yes, he was 62, he passed away earlier this afternoon. And uh, he, a lot of you guys may not remember him as Zeus, but... Uh, that was definitely a big part of my childhood. I definitely remember No Holds Bar uh, with him and Hulk Hogan. Him teaming up with uh, Macho Man Randy Savage. Definitely some great classic wrestling right there. And then of course he was also uh, Debo in the uh, Friday movies with Ice Cube and that he did, played some other great roles. He was a, a, an accomplished actor and he will definitely be sadly missed. Uh, but we wanted to send our condolences out to his family and friends and fans. Uh, we here at the Top Bloggers are definitely uh, saddened by his loss. Well, thank you so much for coming on this vlog. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. You can hit that like button, take it one step further, and ring that notification bell. That way you know what is going on on this channel when and where we are 
Now I'm going to throw it over to the lovely cat for today's help link. Today's help link is wish.org. It's the Make-A-Wish Foundation. A wish experience can be a game changer for a child with a critical illness. This one belief guides us in everything we do at Make-A-Wish. It inspires us to grant life-changing wishes for children going through so much it can Tells us to be creative in exceeding the expectations of every wish kid. It drives us to make our donated resources go so far. Most of all, it's the founding principle of our vision to grant the wish of every eligible child. This is their mission. Wishes are more than just a nice thing and they are Far more than gifts or singular events in time. Wishes impact everyone involved, wish kids, volunteers, donors, sponsors, medical professionals, and communities. For wish kids, just the act of making their wish come true can give them the courage to comply with their medical treatments. Parents might finally feel like they can be optimistic and still others might realize all they have to offer the world through volunteer work or philanthropy. So sad that kids are sick, but this is a wonderful foundation that if you have the money to donate to, please do so. If not, get the word out there, share it with your friends and family. Maybe somebody you know is in the position where they can donate to help these poor children out. And you know, we have, we have three children total, and the last thing that I could ever imagine is that one of our children would be terminally ill and I would just hope that if something like that ever was to happen that they would be able to have their final wish uh, granted as well. So yeah, like we said we know you can't go ahead and donate to everyone but this is definitely a special one especially around the holiday season uh, when so many loved ones uh, have passed away uh, Kat and I currently have an uncle who is not doing very well, and uh, so it definitely means a lot to us uh, to know uh, that uh, wishes do come true for certain people, uh, thanks to uh, gracious people like you uh, who donate. And I think that's going to do it for us here today. Until next time. Top Vloggers out.